Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I am doing a very highly requested video and that is my weight loss journey. Um, I've had so many of you request information about how I have lost weight, how I have started like working on my fitness and my health. And so today I really wanted to share with you all of my secrets and things that I've been doing. So um, I'm just gonna jump right in. Okay, so I'm gonna just start with a little bit of history. So growing up, I was always like really super thin, very skinny. My aunt and uncles would always call me skinny mini. Like they, um, I was basically a stick figure. They would make fun of me and say skinny mini, teeny weeny, like very slim and slender. As I got into high school, I started to fill out a lot. And I wasn't like fat or overweight or anything like that ever. But as soon as I got into my adult years, I started to obviously lose my metabolism. And so I started to gain weight. Now, I never like viewed myself as overweight. I never felt like I was uncomfortable in my body. Um, but I always felt like I could always do better. So when I got married, I was about 148, maybe 150 pounds, and that was in 2015. And then when I got pregnant with Cash, I was about 155. And when I delivered Cash, I was 175 or 180. So I had gained about 30 pounds in the pregnancy, just give or take. And then when I started breastfeeding, I lost most of that. I was down to like 165, 170. And then after I stopped breastfeeding, all of that weight kind of started coming back. So at my peak weight, the heaviest I've ever been, it has been about 170, 172. So thinking about what I weighed when I got married, 150, about a 20 pound difference. Now for me, this is a huge amount of weight. Um, when I'm When I say for me, I just mean like, when people look at me, they say, oh, you're not overweight. You don't need to lose weight. Okay, but for me, this is a big difference. This is a big change. So for me to be 20 pounds heavier, it, I feel it and I feel uncomfortable in my skin. About a year ago, I started working out with what is, who is now my dear, dear friend, Nicole. And it's actually a funny story. My husband goes to the gym every day. He met Nicole at the gym just in passing, they were always there at the same time. He would say things like, oh, you know, my wife is looking for a workout buddy. You are you seem like you're always here. Can I give you her number? She would probably love to work out with you. My husband's kind of like super supportive, so he hooked it up for me. So my husband got Nicole and I to meet each other. We started working out and then quarantine happened. So we were working out here in the house and then as soon as the gyms opened back up, we went to the gym and we were going about five to six days a week. Now at the gym, when we got there, we were working out, we were lifting heavy weights. We didn't do a lot of cardio. I do lift heavy weights and that is how I work out but I wasn't seeing any difference in my weight. I noticed that I was gaining a lot of muscle, but I wasn't losing any weight, and that was kind of my target. Like, yes, I wanna get stronger, and yes, I wanna gain muscle, but I really want to put some of this fat out. Like, I wanna get rid of this fat. Fast forward to a year later, this March, I tried my wedding dress on, and I realized I have to do something else. What I'm doing is not working. Now I will preface this by saying I'm a foodie. I love to eat food. Tacos, mashed potatoes, bread, pasta. I love food. And that was one of the reasons why I had always kind of like steered away from like diets and like meal plans. Like, oh, okay, you're going to eat chicken and rice and broccoli. Or, oh, you're going to do this many meals and it's going to be the these items all the time. I just could never get myself to do it because I would constantly be eating the same thing and I would get bored and I would get tired of it and then I would quit and I would cheat and nothing would help until I talked to my mom. My mom started this thing called Bright Line Eating and she did it around last January, so 2020, January 2020, and she lost about 20 pounds in a two month period. She was always telling me about this idea, this plan, and I kind of just sloughed it off and was like, oh, that's funny, that's cute, go ahead, whatever. 
but I never jumped on the bandwagon until I tried my wedding dress on and I realized I need something to change. I want to fit in this wedding dress again. So I decided to try it out. So the name of the program is Brightline Eating, BLE. But what I should tell you is that I am not following the program. Like I do not have the book. I do not do the seminars. I don't get the emails. Like I'm not signed up for the program. My mom is. So all of the information that I got about this program just came through my mom. So she gave me the meal plan. She printed it out and I'm going to link pictures of the meal plan in this video below. I found them on Pinterest. It's the same meal plan uh, printout that my mom got and I follow that meal plan as closely as possible. Now there are some days where I don't follow it as closely, but I never eat something that isn't on the plan. So essentially what the plan is, is no flour, whether it's wheat, white, whatever, no flour, basically gluten-free and no processed sugar. So you get your sugars from fruit and stuff, but there is absolutely no eating sugar. So no candy, no ice cream, no cake, no sweets, none of that. Cut it all out. No flour, no processed sugar. That's it. Then you follow a meal plan where you weigh out your food and you only eat certain foods at certain times of the day. So what I'm gonna do is kind of read through the meal plan for you and I have these printed out and they're on my fridge so at all times of the day I can see them and I can plan accordingly. I do the three meals per day plan because it fits with my lifestyle. I am a working adult. I'm not at home all day to eat all day long. I only get certain amounts of breaks at work so I do the three meal plan and it works for me. So for breakfast I have one protein one breakfast grain and one fruit. Also on this picture is a list of foods and how much weight of each food I would eat. So a breakfast grain typically eaten by a woman, it says um, potato, sweet potato, yam, rice, quinoa, oatmeal, oat bran, cream of rice, grits, shredded wheat, or fiber one. So basically all of the things that you would consider a carbohydrate, you eat it in the morning and you can have four ounces after cooking or one ounce dry and then cook it. So I eat a lot of grits in the morning. I eat potatoes. I eat hash browns. I eat rice cakes. I eat rice, but I don't eat breakfast until like 10, 20 because that's when my lunch break is at school. So I just don't eat until 10, 20 every day. Then for lunch, I can have one protein, six ounces of vegetables, one fruit, and one fat. Then again, I just look on my list to see how much weight of each item I can have and I plan my meal accordingly. So proteins might be yogurt, milk, eggs, cheese, cottage cheese, um, Chicken, turkey, pork, beef, lamb, fish, shrimp, tofu, tempeh, beans, lentils, hummus, edamame, veggie burger, or soy, or any other nut. So I can have pretty much any protein that I want, I just only have four ounces. And then I can have a fruit, I can have a vegetable. So a fruit could be strawberries, pineapple is my go-to, bananas, um, apple, whatever I want, any fruit I want. I can either eat the whole fruit or I can have like a few pieces of each one. I weigh it out six ounces of fruit, okay? So four ounces of protein, six ounces of veggies, six ounces of fruit, and then a fat, which again, everything is listed. So my fats are listed here. I could have a spoonful of peanut butter. I could have salad dressing. I could have um, nuts, so like a handful of nuts, not a handful, I would need to weigh them, it's a half an ounce of nuts, a half of an avocado, okay? So everything, the key, the trick, the secret is weighing everything out and portioning your food. So then for dinner, my camera's about to die, so I'm gonna restart it in a second. For dinner, I have one protein, six ounces of vegetables, an eight ounce salad, and then another fat. So I generally have peanut butter for lunch and then avocado for dinner because it generally goes with things that I would eat at dinner. 
So same thing, you just pick whatever protein you're doing, weigh it out, pick your vegetables, weigh them, do a salad. Sometimes I don't do an eight ounce salad, sometimes I do less because by the time, like a week and a half or two weeks in, your stomach is shrinking, so you're not gonna be as hungry. An eight ounce salad to me, after eating protein and veggies, I couldn't eat anymore, I was getting full. Okay, so that is the three meal plan. So what I'm gonna do is link a couple of things down below. First thing I'm gonna link is my Pinterest pin board for Bright Line Eating. It's gonna have a couple pictures that look like this on it, they're teal. And I'm looking for all of the pictures that I currently have, but I also found a really neat fridge magnet that is on Amazon and it has all of this information on it and it's a magnet so it goes right on your fridge. So I'm gonna link that down below. I'm actually gonna buy that right now, but I will link it down below for you. Um, there's also a book that you can purchase if you really wanna read on the whole program, how it works, why it works. Um, the way my mom explained it to me was that carbs and sugar are an addictive substance. Flour itself is an addictive substance and so is processed sugar. So once our bodies don't have access to those anymore, we don't crave them. And we have way more will willpower, we have way more uh, self-control, and we just don't want those foods anymore. And I will tell you that that is 100% true. After about two weeks doing bright line eating, I stopped craving flour and I also had way more willpower. I would have pizza around me, pasta, um, tortillas, tacos, everything that I still loved eating was around me, but I didn't eat it because I didn't really care to have it. It wasn't like, oh gosh, I really want those tacos, those flour tortillas. Oh gosh, I really wanna try the bread. Oh my gosh, I need to have the crackers. I didn't feel like I didn't have self-control anymore. I felt like, no, that's just not my food. That's one of the mantras of the Bright Line Eating is that's not my food. So it definitely works. I have lost a total of 10 pounds since Easter and that was April 27th, I forget. So I'm almost, I'm barely even a month and some change in and I've already lost 10 pounds. So this does work. Um, one thing that my mom told me, you know, I, again, I am not like part of the program. I didn't sign up for the program. I didn't buy the book. I didn't do any of that. I'm just going off of what my mom told me. So if you're one of those people that wants to like learn for yourself, get the book, sign up for the program. Definitely they have like Facebook support groups and like there's tons of people on Pinterest and Instagram. You go for it. I'm just going off what my mom told me. Um, you're not supposed to work out while you're doing the weight loss plan because there's a weight loss plan and a maintenance plan. Basically, once you've lost all the weight you wanna lose, you maintain your weight by eating similarly, but you can start adding more things in, like more protein at a time. Um, you're allowed higher portions because you're maintaining your weight now. So I haven't been going to the gym as often as five days a week, but I have been getting there at least two days a week to keep my momentum and keep it a habit. So during the summer, now that I've lost the 10 pounds that I've wanted to lose, I'm going to get back into the gym. Now that I have my eating habit under control, I have my gym habit under control, I can marry the two and live a healthy lifestyle. Am I going to go back to eating flour? No, I don't need to. I don't feel the need to do that. If I go out for dinner and there's a flour item on the menu that I really want, I can probably eat it and I'm gonna go right back to my bright lines the next day. So it is a lifestyle that you can upkeep as long as you're in the right mindset. So the tools that I recommend that you have before you begin your bright line journey is a food scale. I got this one from Amazon, I believe. So just any food scale that measures in ounces you're gonna want to either print your meal plan or get that magnet. I've got it already in my cart. I'm ready to check out as soon as I get off of this video with you guys. That's gonna be really helpful, um, having the magnet there for me to use. So a scale, print out your eating plan, and then you're also going to wanna start thinking about getting creative because if you're a flower lover like me and you eat a lot of sandwiches, 
pizza, quesadillas, things like that, you can get creative. Trader Joe's and Sprouts, even Safeway Fries, most grocery stores are starting to provide more flourless options because of people who are gluten free. It's a lot easier. So a couple of the things that I use staples in my grocery list every week are things that involve cauliflower. Cauliflower thins to be exact. They sell these at Trader Joe's, it comes in a pack of four. I use these for almost everything. So I use these to make little miniature pizzas, I use these to make sandwiches, I use these to make tacos. Pretty much anything that I would use with flour, I replace with this, and it works. Um, I did have to get over the taste, because to me they kind of taste like farts at first, but once you get over that, they taste delicious. If you season whatever you're eating really well, you won't even taste them. Another one that I really love are these folios. These are from Trader Joe's as well, but I believe most grocery stores are carrying them now. It's literally a wrap of cheese. I love sandwiches, so I like to throw some salami, lettuce, mustard, and wrap it up in one of these cheese wraps, and it's like I'm eating a sandwich. Um, I snack on some pickles on the side as part of my veggie, and then I throw a little bowl of pineapple in the mix, and that's my lunch. So those two items are great, and then I'm a chipaholic. I love to eat chips and salsa, chips and guacamole. Corn chips you can have, but you need to eat them in very much moderation, so I don't even really eat them unless I'm at like a party or someone's house and there's corn chips then I'll snack on them, but again, my stomach is has shrunken, so I'm not gonna be as hungry. Um, but I use plantain chips. Um, they are, they only have plantains, sunflower oil, and salt in them. These are from Trader Joe's as well, but plantain chips are a great substitute if you're a snacker like me. Oftentimes for my lunch, and I eat lunch around 2.30 every day, but oftentimes my lunch consists of plantain chips, some sort of cream cheese based dip, protein, as long as I measure it out ahead of time, I can have it. Any type of cream cheese dip, like artichoke dip, whatever, I dip these in it, and then I also add carrots, bell pepper, I dip those into the, into the um, dip. So I'm basically eating anything I want, and I'm losing weight. So those are my three staple items, things I, I always buy these every week. And then another thing I just wanted to mention that I'm also doing in addition to Bright Lines is I am taking these Flow gummies, which are supposed to help with bloating. And I don't know if they're helping with bloating, but my acne is doing a lot better. So I am taking these, and these have three grams of sugar in them. So anytime you're looking for a sweet treat or something, look at the sugar content as long as it's like three grams below, I'll usually eat it. Like a chocolate hummus the other day, it had like two grams of sugar in it. My Alani New Energy drinks, they have like one gram of sugar, two grams of sugar in them. That's okay, just don't like go above three grams of sugar. So like your coffee creamer might have some sugar in it. Just be very mindful of how much sugar you're putting into your diet because if you start adding processed sugar, processed sugar, processed sugar, then you're not cutting it out of your diet. So. Bright line eating, it's working. It's working for me. Um, going to the gym a few times a week. I've lost 10 pounds some days. When I wake up, it's down 12 pounds. And I feel really good and I'm happy and I'm so much more confident in my skin and I'm just digging it. So I'm gonna enter insert some photos here at the end, just some com comparisons. You guys can see where I started where I finished I'm such a dodo I didn't take like progress pictures that was so silly of me 
but I definitely can tell that I'm thinning out and people around me can tell as well. So my mom, I, I go a few weeks without seeing her. She's like, wow, yeah, you're really losing weight. My dad even says that I am and Scott, he says that I'm losing weight. So it's definitely working and I really hope that it works for you guys. Check my description for helpful links. Again, I'll link that uh, magnet. I'll link the book if you're interested in that and I will link my Pinterest board that has pictures of the meal plan because these I actually just got from my mom. She sent them on her phone. So there's no way to get you this, but I can send you links to where you can find them. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful for any of you that are trying to lose weight, who are struggling like I was. Hopefully this helps at least one person and I will see you guys in the next video.